and welcome back to Let's Play Ruined Factory 4. Alright, so in between episodes, I just played a day off screen and got my crafting skill up to 50. I think. Yep, we're at 50. So yeah, now we can start upgrading our armor and accessories and stuff. Although, in order to do that, I'm still waiting for my turnips to- Oh wait, is it done? Oh, it's done. I'm still waiting for my turnip to get to level 10. I think this is still level 7? Yeah, still level 7. Okay. But yeah, we'll work on that. Honestly though, for this next dungeon, we don't really need better armor for the most part. This dungeon is actually pretty easy compared to Maya Road. In fact, you know what? Once I'm done here, I might just head out and uh, go do some of the dungeon. Alright, so wait. These are the good term seeds, right? Yep, level 8. Okay, we'll let those grow. Yeah, I also need to start cleaning up my inventory a bit. You know what? One second. I am actually going to get rid of some of these old tools that I'm still carrying around with me. So, let's just do what I always do. Get my good tool and just stick my old tool inside of it. Whoops. There we go. Might as well get a bit of extra experience out of it while I'm doing it. So, let me see. What else am I need to replace? I need to replace uh, my sickle. This is a good one. There we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, so then. Once I'm done with all the fields and all the crops and stuff, I'm probably going to head to the dungeon for a little while. You know, take a look around, see how far I can get. Also, yeah, picking a few things to make some more money. In between episodes, I did manage to harvest a bunch of stuff, but then I kind of spent all the money on seeds again. It's fine. Once all these plants get in, uh, we'll be making plenty of money. Oh wait, cucumbers. There we go. Also, I have a ton of accessory bread I still need to eat. But I think I'll do that later. Let's see, so my- oop, My monsters should be able to take care of this field by themselves, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, let me see. These are ready. I'll just take care of the middle of the field myself, but I'll do that later. Actually, wait. That's right. My watering can is amazing now, so I can just do this. Wait, no I can't. I'm out of water. I can fix this. Unfortunately, I think I'm out of seeds, so... I do have grass seeds and these seeds, but I don't want to use those until I can get some giantizer. Yeah, you know what? We'll wait. Get some more fertilizer going. Uh, let's see. Monsters are taking care of all the watering. That's good. I'm just finishing the watering right here. There we go. Alright, we're good then. Let's grab the party together and head to the dungeon for a little while. Alright, who wants to come with me? Who have I not really used before? Actually, you know what? I just remembered something. Do I want to stick the turnip head on? Nah. Eh. You know what? I think I'll keep it off him for now. Maybe if there's someone I don't like, I'll stick it on top of them. But yeah, let's bring Dionys with me. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the Firefly Festival's tomorrow. What? Whoops. That's a, a bit too early for that. I kind of accidentally hit down when I didn't mean to. But yeah, oh, the Firefly Festival's tomorrow. Which one was this one again? This might be a date one. So I don't know if I can actually do it yet, because technically... Actually, you know what? One second. How much does Dionys like me at the moment? Actually, I could have just looked at that previous page, but I didn't feel like counting. He's at six. Okay, not yet. We need to be at least seven before we can start going out with people. So yeah, I don't think we can actually participate in this one. Yeah, we can't actually participate in this one because unfortunately we're Dionys doesn't love us enough yet. Oh well. Maybe next year. But yeah, unfortunately until we hit at least seven, we won't be able to say that we love him properly. At least I believe... Yeah, I believe we can't yet. You know what? I'm gonna try real quick. See no, Dinos, don't. No, come on. What? Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to wait for that. Oh well. There are plenty of dating festivals we can do throughout the year. Anyways, who else wants to come with me? I would bring my monster, but I kind of want to bring another person with me instead. Uh, who have we not brought that might be good? Also, money. I could... You know what? Zalp, hey, you want to come? Yeah. 
There we go. I forget, what type of weapons does she use? She uses... Axes. Okay, that works. Uh, do I have a spare bat? I think I have a spare battle axe on me, don't I? I do. I'm never gonna really use axes, so you can have it. Also, yeah, she likes Chinese dishes. Which makes me wonder, does China exist in this world? Well, whatever. What else can I give her? Uh, you know what? There you go. I like Zalpei, but I don't want to give it to Dylas because we're going to be spending a lot of time with him. <laughs> Plus, it seems like it would fit her character to just be wearing a turnip on her head. Uh, what else can I give her? She, I could give her this really... It sucks, but I could give her this shirt. It's better than nothing. Okay. That should be good enough for now. Let's go. Off to the sex territory. So yeah, we're gonna pretty much invade the sex empire by ourselves. This, uh, this isn't gonna end well. Actually, no, we can pretty much, like, demolish their entire army by ourselves. Also, let's uh, make sure we're fully equipped. Alright, so I have all my equipment on. Spells are good. We don't have any food, but that's okay. I'm not planning on being the dungeon today. We might as well just take a quick look around. Eh. I really should also make Dylan some really good gloves. It's not that hard once I can get myself a uh, level 10 seeds. Actually, also, I could just make everyone really good equipment at some point. Uh, where's that? Oh, I think they're stuck. Yeah, I think they're stuck inside that tree. Whoops. That's fine. Alright, but yeah, this dungeon. It's honestly pretty straightforward, and surprisingly short, too. Also, technically, this is the winter area, so... It's both a dungeon and not a dungeon. It's weird. It's like they managed to, like, combine a dungeon... They put dungeon elements into, like, an open field. Sure... Um, sure, we'll try some free dishes. So yeah, if we come here, we get a free dish every day. I can't pick up- oh, she just made me manju. That thing would probably like that. But yeah, it's kind of weird. This area is more like structured like an open field area, but... At the same time, it has dungeon elements, like locked areas and- Oh, snowman! I kind of want to make him my friend. Oh, oh... I forgot about the silver wolf. There's a little starving wolf here. Well, lucky for him, we have food. You can give him any type of food, but we just got this for free, so might as well give it to him. But yeah, let's take it along. Got ourselves a free monster. Say hello to Wolfie. He's pretty much the physical equivalent to Green that we recruited earlier. He's a powerhouse. A physical powerhouse, but a powerhouse. That being said, I still prefer to use green instead of a wolfie, simply due to the fact that I myself am a physical powerhouse. I don't need another physical powerhouse on the team. Magic, on the other hand, I kind of suck with. Also, ice areas. Yeah, I kind of want to recruit a snowman just because I can. Although I think with the uh, Wolfie now our entire barn is full, so... I might need to upgrade the barn at some point. Anyways, let's just keep taking a look around uh, the Sex Empire. It's very snowy here, by the way. Actually, before we move forward, let's backtrack a little bit and check out those paths that I didn't look up. Or look down. Don't mind me. Alright, so what's up here? There's a chest over there, but I don't think we can access it from this side. Yeah, we have to go from above. And I think the way above is actually blocked off at the moment. Unless there's a secret way through here. No, I can't get through there. Okay, that's fine. Actually, can I get through here? I can barely see where I am at the moment. Yeah, there's no way through from this side. Oh well. Or if there is, I don't remember if that spell is, or whatever that is, is very important. That way he's blocked off by yellow roadblock. 
And this way is open. What's over here? Oh, okay. Well, we can access that chest from the right side. So yeah, we need to come back here once we hit the yellow switch. Alright. That way is blocked off by blue. That way is blocked off by nothing because I just hit the purple switch. Uh, what's up here? Can I go this way yet, or is it blocked off? Oh no, we can't squeeze through the trees. Uh, that way is blocked off by blue. Also, yeah, I still need to be careful. My armor is still really low. Because I don't really have the materials to make an entire suit of armor. Weapons are easy, because you only need to make one. Armor, you kind of need to upgrade everything. Uh, I'm also a bit low on RP. I can fix that. There we go. Yeah, we need to come back here when we hit more switches. God, getting around the Sex Empire must be really annoying for its residents. Like, they set up roadblocks everywhere. Uh, I forget, can we get something for free here? Sticks. We got a stick. Awesome. Ow. Uh, I don't really need the RP. We'll be good. I'm just gonna see if I can squeeze... Oh, I was hoping I could squeeze through there without getting hit. That's fine. Uh, what's around here? Is there anything over here that we're missing? Nope. Just go south. At least one good thing about this area, there's not very many areas where they're blocked off by, like, screens where you have to kill all the enemies. For the most part, technically, I think we could just run past all the enemies here. Also, stacked level up sounds. Alright, that's a green switch. I'm still looking for blue and yellow. Uh, and red, apparently. Yeah, at some point I should probably give Dymas a good fist weapon too, like mine. Or I could just pass them down mine once I make better ones. Because, yeah, oh, that's right, we unlocked some new uh, weapon recipes last time that I never took a look at. I should look at those later. Also, it's snowing. Snow is nice. I don't know where I am anymore. There I am. Zalpay's turnip head kind of makes it hard to see sometimes. Because it blocks my view. When it's really chaotic. Also, plenty of water crystals. Uh, where's this lead? This lead's over here. To the green switch. I don't think we can get any new materials here either from the rocks. I think we can get water crystals, but I just picked up a ton of those. Oh no, we can get diamonds here, that's right. Okay. Actually, with diamonds, I might be able to make better weapons when I get back. We'll see. Uh, what's this? Eggs. Actually, I kind of have an idea of a weapon I could make after this dungeon. I'll have to do a little bit of research, just make sure it works, and some practice, just in case. But I'm pretty sure I can make a pretty good weapon once we're done here. I'll have to also check my recipes, too, just to make sure I'm thinking of the right thing. Also, we're gonna need seeds. Obviously. We're gonna need level 10 seeds. Lots of them. Okay, that's just way back to the entrance. Uh, the way forward is open now. We still need to find the red, blue, and... That way, why did you attack the save point? It never did... It didn't do anything bad to you. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me just check one more thing before we go forward. I'm also a little bit low in RP, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any food with me because I didn't think we would be in, be in here that long. Okay, yeah, that way is still closed. I think we would have to hit the switch and then go the long way around to open it. Maybe some... Maybe I'll do that later. Yeah, I need to open up the red switch before I can do anything. That's fine. Let's just keep going forward. Listen. He stole from me. I'm just here to grab our stuff back, okay? Okay, why are they giving these to their rank and file soldiers? Seems like they would be a bit too important to, uh, give to just random people just stationed in the middle of nowhere.
But yeah, time for another boss battle. I didn't expect to get here this quickly, but... I don't- hey, hey, magic is really good in this game, okay? Honestly, you're probably the biggest threat in this area. Also, yeah, these guys aren't exactly the, uh, biggest threat. That being said... Boop. That's one down. Two down. Yeah, even Dynalus is doing a ton of damage to this guy. There we go. Well, that was easy. But, free rune sphere? Oh. Yeah, we did defeat two of them. To be fair, your Fire Sum clone was actually kind of a giant threat. Also, he actually knows our name. <laughs> but we have the big bad. The Emperor himself came all the way out here to see us. But yeah, let's go after him. I wasn't playing- oh god, how did I take two- Oh, right, I forgot you actually do take damage from his attack. You know what, I will be right back. I wasn't playing on doing the boss today, but... We're here, so why not? I do need to take a quick bath, though, because yeah. Even though it is a cutscene of it, you do take a ton of damage uh, from his attack. I don't think it can out outright kill you. But it did like 2,000 damage to me, so yeah, let's just heal up real quick. I think it always puts you down to a certain percentage. Also, Zalpei, you can take off the hat, you know. You don't have to wear it into the bath. But yeah, let's do this. Pretty sure we can take this guy on pretty easily. Uh, we are heading back to the sex territory. Also, yeah, thank god they don't have any air defenses. We're just kind of flying in and dropping off right in front of their front door. But yeah, since we already opened the way, let's keep going. Or, you know, we can come here. Yeah. We just need to make it to the end of this cave. I think we can probably make it today. If not, we'll come back some other day. What do we got here? Oh, mystery potions. Okay, free healing. But yeah, I think we had to go down the other hole. Judging by the fact that we can't go anywhere here. So let's just warp out for a second. And then walk all the way back and go down the left hole. Alright, let's see. He couldn't have gone far. Also, yeah, I think this is the first one where you have to use a hidden hallway in order to get somewhere. So we just need to find... We have to find some rocks, apparently. We have to find the hidden passage. I think it's the one to the south? No, it's the one to the west. Okay, there we go. Also, yeah, turns out Ethelbeard's kind of a dick, judging by how he designed his secret cave. It's not dangerous, it's annoying, which is even worse. Yeah, he really likes his little hidden wall things. Also, yeah, enemies are starting to hit quite hard now, so we should be careful. Uh, we can't get to that portal at the moment. Yeah, we can't get to that portal. Is it raining? It's raining. Can't go that way. Yeah, I just want to get everyone as many levels as possible. Oh god, yeah, we should heal up. Don't mind- Ow! Stop fighting me, you stupid- Oh god, stop fighting me! There! Bad dog! 
Also, yeah, we can't go back. Let me see. I believe we need to go east, but I want to take a... Never mind. That way's blocked off. Also, I don't think I was supposed to get through there. I think I accidentally outran the, uh, what is it called? The walls before they could come up. Also, this stone. We can't actually go here without our husband and our kids. Kid. So we'll have to come back here later. There's a warp point because I believe... Yep, we're here. You know, if you want us to follow you, maybe you shouldn't put the walls everywhere. Well, that's a green dragon. True. That is... I don't know what that's supposed to be, but, um... Yeah, this is how they've been cloning the native dragons. They've been taking normal dragons and then fusing them with native dragon parts. Also, this is the water native dragon. He was the final boss of Rune Factory 3. And I think he wants us dead. Alright, let's do this. I do like his music, although Firesome is still probably my favorite boss music out of all the native dragon clones. Also, yeah, our fists are still amazing, so... He's dead. His little weird turrets are still attacking, but, uh... There we go. Oh, hey, Doug. Oh, thanks, Doug. But yeah, Ethelbeard is kind of a jerk and slightly racist. But he's off to the Floating Empire. Ah, this got... Really dark, actually. Oh my god, Ethelbeard. So yeah, his goal isn't necessarily to take over the world, it's to kill every Earthmate in the world. Oh. Oh, where'd you get a rune sphere? Ah. Good work, Doug. Even Dynas cares. I'm kind of glad I brought him with me, to be honest. He just fits really well with this arc, simply because of the relationship between him and Doug. But yeah, we grabbed one of the rune spheres back. Also, yeah, this time maybe we should actually guard the rune spheres instead of just leaving them in the middle of a field like that. I mean, wait, what do you mean there's something in the sky? Also, why is it snowing in summer? Oh. Ah, that's... Wait, they're attacking us directly now? But yeah, um, turns out the Sex Empire is literally a floating empire who are currently raining death upon us. Fortunately, they're not attacking the village directly, but, um... Yeah, we need to go up there. We could bring Forte with me, but... I'm not sure if I want to bring Forte with me. But yeah, she's just saying that she's available as a party member. But, we're off to the Floating Empire. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to take a quick trip to the Floating Empire, then. 
because it's pretty important. Also, the only way to actually get there is via airship. There is no way to walk to the floating empire. You know, because it's floating. It is literally a floating castle in the sky. I have no idea how they managed to get their empire to float like that, but it's time to attack it. Head on. Hi, dragon. So yeah, this is why when we invade the sex uh, territory, there wasn't really any air defenses. That's not their empire. Their empire is floating in the sky above the clouds. Also, dragon, go away. I was kind of hoping I could just throw him off the ledge. Also, Zalpain left our party at some point, but that's okay. Me and Dylas can handle this. Also, I'm just gonna be grabbing these. But yeah, we got a couple of waves of enemies we need to get through. Fortunately, they're not too tough. If you get knocked out here, you just get sent back to the clinic like always. Actually, I'm gonna heal up just in case. Oh god, yeah, let's make sure we don't get knocked out here. Oh, Dylas? Oh my god, no. Now is not a good time for this. Are you serious? It's 7 o'clock, so he went home. I thought we were past that point in our relationship, but apparently not. Also, Arthur, there are like 10 enemies. That's not that hard. <laughs> Give me more. But no, we got lucky. Anyways, off to the Floating Empire. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to pick up those fangs, but we can find more later. But yeah, welcome to the Floating Empire, the final dungeon of R2. And unlike uh, the sex territory, the Floating Empire is absolutely massive. It's pretty much the equivalent of three dungeons in one. In fact, it's pretty much made up of three major sections. Also, we can find Platinum here. This is the only place where we can find Platinum in boxes on the Floating Empire. So yeah, we'll, be have, we'll have to grab those at some point. But yeah, in order to get to the final battle, we need to clear three sections of the Floating Empire. And each section is about the equivalent of a normal dungeon. So yeah, this is going to take a while. That being said, we are definitely not doing this today because I am not even remotely prepared. But a lot of stuff happened today. Still, we have a target in our sights. The giant floating continent in the sky. Because of course there would be. But yeah, we'll need to get some preparations done. I need to make myself entirely new armor, new weapons. In fact, you know what? Let me just check something real quick. Uh, where are they? Gloves. I'm still gonna be using gloves for this arc. It's probably starting next arc, I might start switching over to uh, Sword and Shield, just so I can get the extra stats from a shield, but... Fist of Light. Okay, we can't make that one yet. Fist of Dark, we can't make. Main Claw. Yeah, we can't make that one. Dragon Claws. Oh, if only we had scales. Actually, if I can find some scales, I'll make those. Fist of Water could be good. Yeah, I'm probably going to see if I can make myself some awesome new gloves later. And if we can get that sparkle tree going, I can make them even more awesomer. Awesomer? More awesome. I'm going to make myself the ultimate weapon for this dungeon because... Screw the Empire. I'm going to punch my way through the enti their entire army to get those spheres back. But yeah. I'll work on that later though. And then, yeah, I also need to make myself an entirely new set of armor because right now I am pretty much a glass cannon. I can destroy anything really quickly, but I also get destroyed almost immediately. But I'll worry about that later. So, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4, we're going to take care of some work around town and get our preparation started. And then eventually in a few episodes, we're going to storm the Empire again. So, till then. I don't know why I went this way. 